much uh, this morning, and uh, good morning to all of you. So we are here uh, this morning as the leadership elected here in Garissa County, together with the leadership from uh, various national government agencies that are responsible for the implementation of the Lancet uh, project. So with me, I have the chairman of the National Land Commission, together with the CEO there. We have the uh, International Highway Authority, um, which I chair the board, together with my uh, Director General. And we also have the Director General of uh, Lapsets. And this fact of uh, networks that um, takes cognizance and takes lead from the President's um, own uh, direction that we should be coordinated as government, both at the national level and the county level, to see that projects that government is undertaking proceed in the most efficient manner and that we constantly and regularly get together to address any emerging issues. The Lancet project is a project that connects the Dlamu port to uh, Moyale and to Ethiopia, and again uh, branching from Isiolo to join to South Sudan. And uh, the plans, the progressive implementation has been ongoing since 2013, and you recall that in the month of May, the President uh, witnessed the personalization of this uh, wonderful uh, project by uh, overseeing the first call at the port of Lamu. So the second very important component of this project is the roads that have a quit cargo from the port and also get uh, the cargo from the areas of production in the country outside to for export and of course also distribute within the country. And uh, for the current period, we are implementing the 257 kilometers of roads through a state construction from Lamu to Garissa and with other two uh, supporting roads uh, from Budei to Kyunga and from Ijara to Hulugo with the border of uh, Somalia. Therefore, uh, the purpose of our being here is to assess the progress. And I, we are very, very, very pleased at what we have seen, the efforts by all the various agencies, the support we have received from the elected leaders here and from the county government, and also from the contractor who is implementing these projects. And I think we have received an overwhelming support across the leadership for this project. We see, and it's very clear to us, the need to support the president's vision and um, we have committed ourselves to work within the next nine months so that the project and the road is ready for use by the month of May of the year 2022. Um, there are of course a few issues that uh, we've agreed that need to be looked into uh, just to uh, some places maybe the road may be touching on some sensitive uh, environments, some sensitive ecosystems. There may be certain areas which are affecting people and where they live. Uh, there are probably uh, a few uh, cases of um, uh, you know, material sources. And we agree that we will be engaging constantly. We will keep the public fully uh, involved so that whatever issues are happening, uh, we have um, a feed from the grassroots to the implementing level. And also for us, we are implementing to keep the people affected constantly on what um, is needed. I am really very pleased to that um, my colleague chairman NLC is here because then as you know that most of this land here uh, doesn't have titles and so NLC uh, stands on the site uh, to facilitate whatever that is required and maybe at this juncture I want to invite chairman NLC to say a word. Good afternoon, um, leaders, uh, President, and uh, members of the press. Uh, mine, first of all, is to thank the leadership uh, here present for the, um, both the warm welcome to Garissa 
and uh, the very fruitful engagement that we had from yesterday up to this morning. Uh, and uh, uh, my thanks to uh, the leadership of the, uh, the county government, the MCS, uh, the um, deputy governor. Uh, I also want to thank the county commissioner uh, for the all the arrangements. I want to thank the members of parliament uh, present, the uh, member of parliament for Ibadera uh, and for Ijara, uh, the CS present here, and of course the, uh, the senator. Uh, we've had very fruitful engagement uh, and meetings with the public in discussing matters relating to the acquisition of land. And uh, as pointed out, as National Commission, we are at the center of the issue of compensation, where compensation is required to be made. And uh, we have listened to all the issues that have been raised. Uh, there are issues about uh, how compensation is made for community land and for private land, and all those issues we have listened to and the concerns, and uh, we will take them into account as we continue with this process. Now, uh, primarily, the law is clear about how we proceed with the matters of compensation. And we ordinarily we want to follow the law, uh, but in matters of engagement with the community to resolve any specific issues, we are ready to do it and do that in a, a transparent a manner as possible. And I would undertake here that uh, we shall continue with the kind of engagement we've ha had for the last two days with the leadership across national government, county government, and members of parliament. And where there are issues where the matters are not clear, together we shall try and resolve them. So those will be my brief remarks uh, for the moment, and thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, members of the press. Uh, I think you have heard uh, what this congregation was about. Um, we have the chairman of Kenya here, the chairman of Mapset, and uh, uh, the chairman of National Health Commission. All these are actually uh, the team responsible for the implementation of the Lapset project. Ours, as a county government, we have given uh, our assurance that we are in support of the 100%. As you all know that this is the single most uh, important investment, the largest actually important investment to this region by our government. And we thank uh, His Excellency the President of Kenyatta for prioritizing this in his development agenda at this time when he's almost winding up uh, uh, his, his term in office. So ours is just to say thank you. We will support the project. We need it. And actually, um, it will be our baby. We will protect it as much as uh, possible. So, I just want to assure the team that you have our support as a county government. And uh, on behalf of the leadership of the county and of the rest, the elected leaders, rest assured that this will be. Thank you so much. Uh, I've been requested to give some money to the world. Bismillah uh, ar-Rahim. Halkan manta wa hanna sunun manay. Binan kagaha dalma. Animan wadada lapsat. Lamu sawm lawna sawm ismiro hanna muku ajan. Pinsi sawan dhom tuil hai sopi ya iyo sawtida. Um Alhamdulillah, <laughs> وحان الله يرضى بدوينها إن أي مارك وضرب مستعجل عيسى بوزكريان مارك وش الله وحنا وباهينه أي 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 سبوزكريان 
engage with us, consult with us and the community and for that we say thank you and public participation is anchored in our constitution and I think we have achieved in discharging our duties, our constitutional duties today. Um, this project, the Lapse Corridor, is one of the, of the biggest projects that is being embarked in our region. It will not only change the social economic activities that uh, we have in the, in, in the region, but it is also connecting us to our brothers up the north and our brothers and sisters in, in the upper eastern region. And for that, we are very grateful. Uh, for us here, this is our duty. For us, it is our work. A lapse project to be completed, even for the, for the members, uh, the high-ranking members that we have from the different agencies, it is their work. But for the people of Garissa, this is their lives, it is their livelihood, and it is the future of improving on their well-being. And that is why as a community and as leaders, we have taken it, we've taken it upon ourselves to ensure that this project is a reality and it is completed with our full support. And I want to urge the people of Garissa to ensure that they give their utmost support to this project so that we can see the fruits that it will bear in the future. For that, I thank the chairman of Kenna, the chairman of NLC, the MD of, of uh, Kenna, the MD of NLC, who have engaged um, with, the, with the community and the, the representatives from Kenya Pipeline, and the MD of Lapset. We say thank you for coming and thank you for listening to the cries of our people and thank you for telling us that you will take it upon yourselves to ensure that we meet all the um, um, uh, requests and uh, all the uh, views that have been, have been taken today. We have very few remarks. I say thank you and good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, we had uh, two days of consultations uh, between uh, the lab set implementing agencies and the communities that uh, live within the corridor of lab set. We want first to take this chance to tell them they have left their work, their busy schedules, and they came to Garissa, up to Jara, and they're going proceeding to Modogashi. We want to tell them thank you very much. Uh, we know it is your work, it is your responsibility, but uh, uh, because of the need that we are on ground, you left everything behind, your work schedule and everything, and you came and joined us. Thank you very much. I again want to take this chance very passionately to thank His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, for initiating 
this program, the LAPSET program. The LAPSET program is a game changer. It is going to transform this region. It is an economical boot. And uh, as the people of this region, we are going to benefit in a big way. Not only us, but the, the, the Kenya and the region at large. So it is going to really change our lives and our livelihood. The way we used to operate before and the way we, in the future we are going to operate with two different and two different ways. So ours is just to say that as the leadership of Garissa County, we are going to support and stand with the LAPSET implementing agencies and we will stand with His Excellency the President to achieve his dreams that this LAPSET will be completed within one year. That's what he said when we, when we were together in Lamu. And we want to stand with His Excellency the President so that that dream becomes a reality. So I'm asking the people of Garissa County and more so the people of Ijara because we are benefiting the most, the most as, 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 a, as a constituency. I want to ask the people of Ijara that we need to stand up and support this project and this program in a big way. Thank you very much. So I wanted that gentleman to say thank you very much. Um, and um, as we have said, that this is an economic growth corridor. And as you know, so far, the government has uh, invested uh, approximately 100 billion shillings, 40 billion shillings in the Lamu port, Lamu port, 17 billion shillings in the roads from Ijara to Garissa. We have uh, the money about 4 billion shillings in uh, Munumodagashi. Um, much more money, almost 20 billion shillings in the uh, roads from Lokichar. So in these projects, and so it's really our duty collectively to see that uh, we come together, we plan accordingly, and make this uh, possible. And let me also thank all the agencies, and uh, particularly also the, uh, the administration uh, and uh, the security officers who have also been with us to ensure that the area is free from uh, any threats and uh, have supported the teams on the ground to make this happen. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, have a good day. So, so um, uh, you, 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 your thing is how much? The total amount? I think it's about 100 million shillings invested so far in the last project. Mm -hmm. yeah.